all the God King Xerxes requires is this, a simple offering of earth and water, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it the Athenians have already turned you down. We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have the reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Ah! Madman. For a madman. Earth and water. Well, you'll find plenty of both down there. No man, Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. This is Sparta! Seek. You're welcome to join us. Would you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? You see, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You, there. What is your profession? I'm a potter. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. And you, blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? You see, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Let me guess. You must be Xerxes. Come, Leonidas. Let us reason together. It would be a regrettable waste. You would be nothing short of madness were you, brave king, and your valiant troops to perish. All because of a simple misunderstanding. There is much our cultures could share. Well, haven't you noticed? We've been sharing our culture with you all morning. Sure, that's the try. Even now you are defiant. In the face of annihilation. Imagine what horrible fate awaits my enemies when I would gladly kill any of my own men for victory. And I would die for any one of mine. Consider the fate of your women. Clearly, you don't know our women. I might as well have marched them up here, judging by what I've seen. There will be no glory or sacrifice. I will erase even the memory of Sparta from the histories. The world will never know you existed at all. The world will know that free men stood against a tyrant, that few 
stood against many. And before this battle was over, that even a god king can bleed. Our ancestors built this wall using ancient stones from the bosom of Greece herself. And with a little Spartan help, your Persian scouts supplied the mortar. You will pay for your barbarism! Tell your Xerxes he faces free men here, not slaves. Do it quickly before we decide to make our wall just a little bit bigger. No, not slaves. <laughs> or women will be slaves. By noon this day, you will be dead men. A thousand nations of the Persian Empire descend upon you. Our arrows. We'll blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. They have served the dark will of Persian kings for 500 years. Eyes as dark as night. Teeth filed to fangs. Soulless. The personal guard to King Xerxes himself. The Persian warrior elite. The deadliest fighting force in all of Asia. The immortals. The God King has betrayed a fatal flaw. Hubris. Easy to taunt, easy to trick. Before wounds and weariness have taken their toll, the mad king throws the best he has at us. Xerxes has taken the bait. Spartans! Push! Immortals. We put their name to the test. Achilles! No! Go! Show the Spartans what we can do! Go! Out and curse, stabbing wildly. More brawlers than warriors. They make a wondrous mess of things. Brave amateurs, they do their part. Immortals. They fail our king's test. And a man who fancies himself a god feels a very human chill crawl up his spine. Failed, they turned to their magic. 
when hundred nations descend upon us. The armies of all Asia, funneled into this narrow corridor, and numbers count for nothing. What the hell are you laughing at? I have to see. What? Fight in the shade! Send the severed bodies and the fragile hearts back to Xerxes' feet. King Xerxes is displeased with his generals. He disciplines them. For King! Who? And our honored dead! Who? Who will Xerxes dare to send next? Who? There's nothing that can stop us now! Even the king allows himself to hope for more than glory. Such mad hope. But there it is. Against Asia's endless hordes, against all odds, we can do it. We can hold our gates. We can win.
hundreds leave. A handful stay. Only one looks back. Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! to victory. Despite your insufferable arrogance, the God King has come to admire Spartan valor and fighting skill. You will make a mighty ally. Use your lightness. Use your reason. Think of your men. I beg you. Listen to your fellow Greek. He can attest to the Divine One's generosity. Despite your several insults, despite your horrid blasphemies, the Lord of Hosts is prepared to forgive all, and more, to reward your service. You fight for your lands. Keep them. You fight for Sparta. She will be wealthier and more powerful than ever before. You fight for your kingship. You will be proclaimed warlord of all Greece, answerable only to the one true master of the world. Leonidas, your victory will be complete if you but lay down your arms and kneel to holy Xerxes. Spartans are descended from Hercules himself. Bold Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. His roar is long and loud. My queen! My wife! tribute, no song, no monuments, no poems of war and valor. His wish was simple. Remember us. He said to me, that was his hope.
with any free soul come across that place. In all the countless centuries yet to be, may all our voices whisper to you from the ageless stones. Go tell the Spartans, passerby, that here, by Spartan law, we lie. And so my king died, and my brothers died. Barely a year ago, long I pondered my king's cryptic talk of victory. Time has proven him wise. But from free Greek to free Greek, the word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300, so far from home, laid down their lives, not just for Sparta, but for all Greece and the promise this country holds. Now, here on this ragged patch of earth called Plataea, thanks his hordes face obliteration! <laughs> just there, the barbarians huddle. Sheer terror gripping tight. Their hearts with icy fingers, knowing full well what merciless horrors they suffered at the swords and spears at 300. Yet they stare now across the plain at 10,000 Spartans commanding 30,000 free Greeks. Ho! Victory!